Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Craig here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough, we're gonna be checking out Voltage Bass, which captures the sound of a four string electric bass guitar. This virtual instrument is perfect for pop and hard rock styles and comes with a collection of articulations like finger note sustains, some palm mutes, some pick palm mutes, some different pick chokes, and even some natural harmonics that have a really beautiful sound. For this library, we also created 20 custom effects presets and atmospheric pads and expansive textural soundscapes to use for crafting otherworldly underscoring or to blend with the bass guitar to create a whole new sound palette. So without further ado, let's dive in and start checking out some of the sounds and features that come within the new Voltage Bass. All right, so now we got Voltage Bass loaded up. Now let's go ahead and start checking it out a little bit. So if you're familiar with our modular four layer template, this will look very familiar to you. You'll see that you have layers one, two, three, and four. So you have mic one, which is the DI signal, which is the direct signal that you can use for loading up your own amp tones or doing anything like that. You have mic two, which is an amped signal. And then you have these two ambisynth layers, which have sub synth and also ambiences as well. So we'll check that out in a little bit. Down here, you have all your normal sound shaping controls like volume, attack, offset, release, release volume. You got some uh, different controls right here. You have vibrato depth, and then you have the rate. So you can choose which one you want as far as that goes. Uh, for the pan, you can pan it left or right. If you click this drop down, you'll also see auto pan and width. And width is really cool, especially for just giving the sound a little bit of a wider spatialization. And then you have pitch, coarse, and fine. And then you also have the advanced tab. So when you go up here and you click this, you'll see that you have LFO, filter, and arpeggiation. And then you also have some articulation options as well. So you'll see that you got legato. And then if you click this drop down, you have two different options. This is a pseudo legato. So you have legato and then portamento. And then you also have this velocity range. And this is really nice, especially if you want to zero in on a specific velocity range and make it a little bit more comfortable to your playing style, you can do that right here. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this a little bit. So maybe if you don't want it to be as soft and you want to keep a little bit more between like a medium to a hard sort of velocity range. So if let's say you want it around there. You can do that. So, and you can also do the reverse. So if you want to not really have that really sort of hard aggressive attack, you can dial that back. So I'm playing it full velocity and it just sounds pretty soft. And then let's go ahead and check it out with the legato. And then you also have portamento. Let's go ahead and give that a listen. So with portamento, it gives it more of a glide. So it'll sound a little artificial, but depending on what you're doing with it, you can really get some uh, really interesting sounds. Almost sounds like you have a fretless bass or something. And then the next thing I want to point out is this extend range button right here. And when you click this, you'll see it fills in the gap. So you have your recorded range in that green key color, and then those blue keys are going to fill it in from the lowest note down and the highest note up. So you can hear by extending the range and playing in that low register, you can really get that big, huge low end. So let's go ahead and check out some of the other articulations. You see when you click this drop down, you got finger sustains, finger palm mutes, as well as pick palm mutes, pick chokes, and some natural harmonics. So let's go ahead and check out these finger palm mutes. And then you can also extend the range on this as well. Let's go ahead and check out some of these pick chokes. And 
and these are great especially when combining with the arpeggiator so let's go over here turn on the arpeggiator Go ahead and adjust the beat. So along with the direct signal, we also included a reamp tone as well. So let's go ahead and have a listen to that. Now I'm going to go ahead and play for you some of the natural harmonics for this instrument and they're really beautiful and I always like using harmonics, especially natural ones whenever I can. So let's go ahead and give these a, a listen. So one of the things I really love to do with this instrument is take these natural harmonics and blend them with some of the different ambiences that we created for this library. So let's go over here to this first ambisynth layer. I'm going to turn this on. Let's go ahead and pick this ambience and then let's go ahead and play them together. So now I'm going to disable the DI and just play for you some of the different ambiences that come with the library. So let's go and start with number one.
So one of the other things you can do is you can use the subsynth layer and blend with the DI as well. So let's go ahead and turn mic one back on. I'm going to go back to here and then let's go to the subsynth sustains. So I just got this regular sine wave. Now we can combine that with our DI and get even more of a thicker sound. So you can see this is in pad mode, so it gives it a little bit more of a longer extended release. So I'm going to turn this back to normal. So let's go and turn this down. I'm going to pitch this down an octave so that way it sounds in the same range. All right, so before we end this walkthrough, I'm gonna go ahead and play for you some of the custom effects presets that come with the library. There's 20 to choose from, and all of these use a bunch of different features and parameters of the library, as well as some X-Fade features. Like if you go down here, you'll see you have this X-Fade, and whenever you see MW in the name, make sure to experiment with the mod wheel because you might be missing out on some really cool things happening. So let's go ahead and have a listen to this. All right, so that about wraps up this walkthrough for Voltage Base. If you'd like to learn more about this library or any of the other products within our shop, make sure to go to soundiron.com. Please make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay up to date on future videos like these. And until next time, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.